Hello dear student, I am Manu Islam. Today in this video, I am going to discuss two important questions of in relation to 2022. Okay, so let's start. First question is from complex analysis and second question from extra algebra. Okay, so this is the first question. See here, it's a, a, a series given. Some of the and z minus i whole to n, okay. And with equal to a series 1 plus 2z plus 3z square, okay. We all know this series. We all know this series. What is this series? 1 plus 2z plus 3z square, okay. This we know 1 minus z whole to minus 2. Okay, this is this. In this sum function, this series sum function is, is that this. 1 upon you can say 1 upon 1 minus j the whole square okay some function of this series will be this so you can write summation n j minus 2i whole power n n get a 0 to infinity equal to this will be 1 plus 2j plus 3j square plus so on okay so you can say the sum function is 1 minus j okay now okay you, you can name it by fz fz say okay now this is a power series something into n is a power series which centered at j equal to 12 power series centered at j not equal to 2y okay and this is the sum function of the series this will be the sum function of the series. The sum function, the sum function has singularity. You can say pole. This function is singularity, singularity, singularity at j equal to one. Okay, and this singularity is of pole, pole order or two. Okay, so we know that definition of radius convergence. The radius convergence is nothing but the distance from center. Okay, so draw the Complex plane, this x axis, this is y axis. Okay. So, this complex plane had i is modulus 1, so this suppose the distance 1, and there is 2i. Okay, so this distance 2, and it is 1, the point is 1,0, and this point is 0, 2. Okay, so radius of the series will be distance from center to the to singularity, singularity j equal to 1. So, distance from center is j equal to uh, 2i will be this point and 1.0 j equal to 1 or j 1.0 will be this point. So, the distance will be this and this distance is nothing but square root of 1 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 2 the whole square this is root 5. Okay. So, you can say the radius of the power series you can say radius of convergence radius convergence of series 1 given series will be root 5 okay this is nothing but distance from center to, to the largest singularity so distance from center is 2i to largest singularity is equal to 1 so distance from j equal to 2i to j equal to 1 is root 1 to root 5 okay root 5 so radius convergence of this power series you can say it r equal to root 5 okay now we know the definition of radius components okay apply the, to find this uh, here you have to find limit soup limit soup on to enter on open it is nothing but one upon r okay you know the difference of we all know the difference of radius components that some if summation in z minus z not whole power n in equal to 0 to infinity, equal to this is a power series, okay. This suppose is radius component ROC will be R. The all know R equal to nothing but 1 upon limit sub mod n whole all upon n, okay. This is the definition. This is the you can say important theorem about radius components, okay. So uh, here R equal to root 5, so this will be 1 upon limit so on upon this will be 
limit so n to simply n mod n okay so you can say limit so n to simply n root under n mod this will be root 5 okay now we will find this and this will be root 5 okay this is the answer so in this question the limit of n to simply n to simply n root under n this value is 1 upon root 5 1 upon root 5 and 1 upon root 5 is the answer so I think you have understood the solution of the question okay so we are going to know now to the next question okay next question from extra zero. so the next question next question okay it next question it a be the question a be the which question from nvhm nvhm phd okay a be the evident group this is z by 7z more than z this is z sum z by 49z okay then it asking how many subgroup order 7 of a have okay so what is a First of all, we all know z upon n z. Okay, z upon n z is isomorphic to z n. Okay, for all n, 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 n any positive integers. Okay, you know this. Z upon n z is isomorphic to z n. So, here are written h z upon 7 z, z sum with z upon 49 z. So, z upon 7 z is isomorphic to z7 and this is isomorphic to z49 so this will be isomorphic to z7 7 did sum z49 okay so so we have to, since in this two group are isomorphic this and these two group are isomorphic so they are already will be same okay so we are going um, to find the cycle subgroup of this okay if, to, if you find cycle subgroup of this then you, you find the cycle subgroup of this group so we, to, we are going to find cycle subgroup of this group z7 z sum z49 okay it asking how many subgroup order 7 a have how many subgroup order 7 a have it asking number of subgroup order 7 uh, since number of 7 is prime you can say 7 is prime okay so we know every group of prime order cyclic okay we know every group of prime order we know every group of prime order is cyclic okay well, no, if you are going to cyclic now 7 is prime 7 is prime okay so a group of order 7 will be cyclic okay. 7, is, 7 is prime so every group of order 7 will be cyclic so instead of finding the subgroup order 7 we are going to find the cyclic subgroup order 7 okay so number of cyclic subgroup of order 7 order 7 in this formula number cycle order 7 is, is nothing but total number total number of elements elements of order 7 in a number of cycle of order 7 in a it's total number of elements order 7 in a by equal function by 7 so is there is formula uh, d number of cycle of order d in a equal to total number of element of order d in a by phi d that d is 7 okay so we have to find the total number of element of order 7 in a now we have to find this total number of element of order 7 in a now total number of element, seven orders, element of order 7 in a how many element see a is isomorphic to z7 plus z49 okay the, it is element of order 1 7 49 it is element of order 1 and 7 okay so if you if you, if you, if you find the element of order 7 in a element of order 7 in a so suppose um, x be the element in a which is order 7 okay now or, um, x be the element of a in a 
since x is element a this will be two form which is common form okay first element you can say x equal to a and b this element is from z7 and this element from z49 so you can say we have order x equal to nothing but lcm of order a of order b to 7 so you have to find the order pair a comma b such that else is 7 okay so what are the order pair if you choose 1 1 if you choose a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 okay both have both gives order else is 7 okay if you choose 1 1 and this gives else 7 okay if it's 1 and 7 this this order pair this gives also else 7 okay now if you choose lcm 7 common is also gives sorry s1 one is one okay so this is not true if not 10 yes you, you, you take lcm one common element. this order pair 7 this is 7 one this will be 7 lcm 7 comma 7 okay this order pair is also lcm 7 okay so total number even order seven will be total number of elements order 7 will be while a function of phi 1 phi 1 in phi 5 this phi 7 okay this is a method and phi, next phi, phi 7 into phi of 1 order pair next phi 7 into phi 7 phi all of function phi 7 to phi 7 now, we all know phi, phi 1 is 1 and phi p is p prime p is p minus 1 so 7 minus 1 plus phi p is p minus 1 so 7 minus 1 to 6 and phi 1 is 1 okay Five is minus one, so six and six. So this gives six plus six, thirty-six. Thirty-six plus this will be twelve plus thirty-six. This will be forty-eight. The total number element in order seven in A. Total number element in order seven in A. This will be forty-eight. Okay. So now go into formula. Total number side of order seven in A. Equal total number element of order seven in A upon five seven. And five seven is is six. Okay. 576 because we all know well function of p is p minus 1 if p is prime if p is prime if p is prime the all function is p minus 1 so 57 will be 57 minus 1 okay so it will be 6 so total number of cyclic subgroup total number of cyclic subgroup of order 7 in a the total number even of order 7 total number in order 7 in a will be 48 total number in order 7 will be 48 so 48 upon 57 5, 57 5, 6 so this gives 8 so total number no cycle sub group order 7 in a will be 8 this is the answer okay or you can say the total number of l number of sub group total number of sub group of order 7 7 sub group cycle so no need to take the cyclic so number total number sub group or 7 will be 8 in a okay so it is the answer so in this question answer will be 8 that is the question total number as number sub size sub group or 7 will be 8 okay so hope you understand my solution okay in after video we will discuss more solution <coughs> today i have discussed two solution two question solution okay so please follow my channel and subscribe my channel after my videos we will discuss more solution of energy and PhD. okay and when okay so thank you